Created by logician Raymond Smullyan and popularized by his colleague George Bulos, this riddle has been called the hardest logic puzzle ever. You and your team have crash-landed on an ancient planet. The only way off is to appease its three alien overlords, T, F, and R, by giving them the correct artifacts. Unfortunately, you don't know who is who. From an inscription, you learn that you may ask three yes or no questions, each addressed to any one lord. T's answers are always true, F's are always false, and R's answer is random each time. But there's a problem. You've deciphered the language enough to ask any question, but you don't know which of the two words ozo and ulu means yes and which means no. How can you still figure out which alien is which? At first, this puzzle seems not just hard, but downright impossible. What good is asking a question if you can neither understand the answer nor know if it's true? But it can be done. The key is to carefully formulate our questions so that any answer yields useful information. First of all, we can get around to not knowing what ozo and ulu mean by including the words themselves in the questions. And secondly, if we load each question with a hypothetical condition, whether an alien is lying or not won't actually matter. To see how that could work, imagine our question is whether 2 plus 2 is 4. Instead of posing it directly, we say, if I asked you whether 2 plus 2 is 4, would you answer ozo? If ozo means yes and the overlord is T, it truthfully replies ozo. But what if we ask F? Well, it would answer ulu, or no, to the embedded question, so it lies and replies ozo instead. And if ozo actually means no, then the answer to our embedded question is ulu, and both T and F still reply ozo, each for their own reasons. If you're confused about why this works, the reason involves logical structure. A double positive and a double negative both result in a positive. Now, we can be sure that asking either T or F a question put this way will yield ozo if the hypothetical question is true and ulu if it's false, regardless of what each word actually means. Unfortunately, this doesn't help us with R. But don't worry. We can use our first question to identify one alien lord that definitely isn't R. Then we can use the second to find out whether it's T or F. And once we know that, we can ask it to identify one of the others. So let's begin. Ask the alien in the middle, if I asked you whether the overlord on my left is R, would you answer Ozo? If the reply is Ozo, there are two possibilities. You could already be talking to R, in which case the answer is meaningless. But otherwise, you're talking to either T or F. And as we know, getting Ozo from either one means your hypothetical question was correct, and the left overlord is indeed R. Either way, you can be sure the alien on the right is not R. Similarly, if the answer is Ulu, then you know the alien on the left can't be R. Now go to the overlord you've determined isn't R and ask, if I asked R U F, would you answer Ozo? Since you don't have to worry about the random possibility, Either answer will establish its identity. Now that you know whether its answers are true or false, ask the same alien whether the center overlord is R. The process of elimination will identify the remaining one. The satisfied overlords help you repair your ship and you prepare for takeoff. Allowed one final question, you ask T if it's a long way to Earth, and he answers Ozo. Too bad you still don't know what that means.